Hello, welcome to our channel. Today we will show you different beautiful decoration arts. So, watch the video until the end to see these beautiful ideas. We post new videos on daily basis. So, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to never miss these inspirational ideas. Smash the notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload new videos. Also don't forget to like and share this video as your likes and shares enable us grow our channel. History of Vintage Animal Illustrations The history of vintage animal illustrations is as intriguing as the illustrations themselves. It all began in the 15th century when animals started to take center stage in the world of art and illustrations. These pieces were not just mere drawings, they were an important way of studying and documenting wildlife. The illustrators of yesteryears, armed with just their pencils and brushes, served as the photographers of their time, capturing the nuances and beauty of the animal kingdom. Fast forward to the 19th century the golden age of vintage animal illustrations, and we see an explosion of these drawings. Printmaking technology had advanced significantly and illustrations became widely accessible. This period gave birth to some of the most iconic vintage animal illustrations that we adore and collect today. These illustrations are not just attractive pieces of art, they're historical documents that give us insights into the past. They show us how people perceived animals, how technology evolved, and how art styles changed over time. They're a testament to the skill and dedication of the artists who created them. So, when you hold a vintage animal illustration in your hand, remember, you're not just holding a piece of paper, you're holding a piece of history. Now, let's take a closer look at what makes these illustrations unique. Key features of vintage animal illustrations When you look at a vintage animal illustration, you'll notice certain characteristics that set it apart from modern illustrations. These are the key features that give vintage animal illustrations their unique charm and appeal, attention to detail, Vintage animal illustrations are known for their intricate details. From the texture of the animal's fur to the patterns on its skin, every aspect is carefully rendered to create a lifelike representation. Artistic styles, whether it's the flowing lines of Art Nouveau or the bold colors of pop art, vintage animal illustrations showcase a variety of artistic styles. This diversity is what makes each piece unique and appealing. Use of color Vintage animal illustrations often feature a muted color palette that lends them a timeless appeal. The subtle use of color adds depth and dimension to the illustrations, making the animals seem almost real. Nature themes Most vintage animal illustrations depict animals in their natural habitats. These scenes not only highlight the beauty of nature but also serve as a reminder of the importance of wildlife conservation. Emotion and expression One of the most striking features of vintage animal illustrations is the emotion they convey. Whether it's the playful curiosity of a kitten or the majestic dignity of a lion, these illustrations capture the essence of the animal world. These features, along with the craftsmanship and creativity of the illustrators, are what make vintage animal illustrations so captivating. They transport us to a different time, a different world, where we can marvel at the beauty and diversity of the animal kingdom. Now that we've looked at the key features, let's move on to how you can identify authentic vintage animal illustrations. How to identify authentic vintage animal illustrations? So, you're on the hunt for vintage animal illustrations, but you're not sure how to distinguish a genuine piece from a replica? Don't fret, we've got you covered. Here are some tips to help you spot the real deal. Paper quality Many vintage animal illustrations were created on high-quality paper that has a distinct texture and patina. If the paper feels too new or too perfect, it might not be a vintage piece. Printing technique Look at how the image is printed on the paper. Many vintage illustrations use techniques such as lithography or engraving which have a distinct look and feel compared to modern printing methods. Artistic style As we discussed earlier, vintage animal illustrations often showcase specific artistic styles. If the piece aligns with the styles prevalent during a particular era, it could be an authentic vintage illustration. Artist signature Many artists would sign or initial their work. If you find a signature, you may be able to research the artist and verify the authenticity of the piece. Provenance If the piece comes with a provenance, a record of its history and ownership, it can help confirm its authenticity. However, provenance can sometimes be fabricated, so it's important to verify it independently. Remember, identifying authentic vintage animal illustrations can take some time and practice. But once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to spot a gem in no time. Next, we will take a look at some of the famous vintage animal illustrators whose works are highly sought after. Famous vintage animal illustrators Now that you know how to identify authentic vintage animal illustrations, let's explore the works of some renowned illustrators who paved the way in this field. Their illustrations are not just pieces of art, 
but also a window into their unique perspectives of the animal kingdom. John James Audubon, known for his detailed illustrations of American birds in their natural habitats, Audubon's works are a remarkable blend of art and ornithology. His most famous work, The Birds of America, is considered one of the finest ornithological works ever completed. Ernest Thompson Seton, an author, wildlife artist, and one of the founding pioneers of the Boy Scouts of America, Seton's vintage animal illustrations in books like Wild Animals I Have Known brought wildlife into the homes of many, sparking interest and admiration for the natural world. Charles R. Knight, largely recognized for his prehistoric animal illustrations, Knight's works have been a significant influence in how we visualize dinosaurs today. His paintings are still on display at several major natural history museums. Raymond Harris Ching, a New Zealand painter famous for his realistic and detailed wildlife art, Harris Ching's works, particularly his bird illustrations, have been widely recognized and exhibited around the world. These illustrators, among many others, have left a remarkable legacy in the realm of vintage animal illustrations. Their works continue to inspire, educate, and fascinate art enthusiasts and animal lovers alike. Up next, we'll delve into how you can start your own collection of these timeless treasures. How to Collect and Preserve Vintage Animal Illustrations Starting a collection of vintage animal illustrations can be a rewarding hobby. It's like honing a piece of history and artistry rolled into one. So, where do you start? Here's a simple step-by-step -step guide. Research, before you buy, it's crucial to understand the vintage animal illustrations market. Learn about different illustrators, their styles, and the periods they represent. This could help you identify what you like and what you want to collect. Buy, once you've done the research, start looking for pieces that resonate with you. You can find vintage animal illustrations in antique shops, art auctions, or online marketplaces. Always ask for provenance or any documentation that authenticates the piece. Preserve, vintage animal illustrations are delicate. Protect them from light, humidity, and temperature changes. Acid-free materials can be used for storage, and UV-protected frames for display. Remember, the joy of collecting vintage animal illustrations is not just in possession, but also in the hunt and discovery of these beautiful pieces of art. So, take your time, enjoy the process, and before you know it, you'll have a collection that tells a story, your story. Value and Appraisal of Vintage Animal Illustrations When it comes to the value of vintage animal illustrations, it's not always about the age. Several factors play a role in determining how much a piece is worth. Here's what you need to know. Artist, works by well-known illustrators often carry more value. If you have a piece by an illustrious illustrator, you've hit the jackpot. Condition, just like vintage cars or antique furniture, the state of the artwork is critical. Pieces with no tears, stains, or fading are more valuable than those showing signs of wear and tear. Rarity, if the illustration is one of a kind or part of a limited edition, its value goes up. The harder it is to find, the more it's worth. Getting an appraisal for your vintage animal illustrations can be a good idea, especially if you think you might have something particularly valuable. An expert can give you an accurate estimate of a piece's worth. So, if you're ever in doubt, seek professional advice. Whether you're collecting for love or investment, understanding the value of vintage animal illustrations can add a new layer of appreciation to your collection. After all, who doesn't love uncovering a hidden gem? How to use vintage animal illustrations in design Using vintage animal illustrations in design can add a touch of charm and nostalgia to any project. Here are a few ways you can incorporate these timeless pieces into your designs. Wall art An easy way to display vintage animal illustrations is by hanging them up as wall art. They can bring a unique, historical vibe to your home or office. T-shirt design Want to wear your love for vintage animal illustrations on your sleeve, literally? Translating these designs onto clothing items like t-shirts can be a fun and stylish way to do just that. Book covers, if you're an author or publisher, consider using vintage animal illustrations for your book covers. It can instantly add an air of whimsy and intrigue to your work. Website design, vintage animal illustrations can be used as background images or icons on your website. They can help create a warm, inviting, and visually engaging online space. Remember. The key to successfully using vintage animal illustrations in design is to respect the artwork's original integrity while adapting it to your own creative vision. So go ahead, get creative and let these timeless illustrations breathe life into your designs. Where to buy and sell vintage animal illustrations Now that we've explored how to use vintage animal illustrations in design, you're probably wondering where you can buy or sell these treasures. Worry not, I've got you covered. Antique stores, these are great places to find original vintage animal illustrations. They might be a bit dusty or tucked away in the corner, but that's part of the hunt, 
right? Online marketplaces, websites like eBay and Etsy are known for their extensive collections of vintage items, including animal illustrations. Just type in vintage animal illustrations in the search bar, and you'll be amazed at what you find. Auctions, auction houses often have sales dedicated to vintage illustrations. Keep an eye on their schedule, you never know when a rare gem might come up. Art fairs, art fairs often feature vendors selling vintage illustrations. Plus, you'll get to meet other people who share your passion for vintage animal artwork. When selling, the same venues apply. But remember, the value of your vintage animal illustrations largely depends on their condition, rarity, and the artist who created them. So, before you put a price tag on your precious pieces, make sure you understand their worth. Happy buying and selling. Why vintage animal illustrations matter? One might ask, why all this fuss about vintage animal illustrations? Well, let me tell you. These pieces of art are more than just pretty pictures. They hold a special place in our world for several reasons. Cultural significance, vintage animal illustrations often reflect the culture and beliefs of the time they were produced. They give us insight into how people viewed and interacted with the natural world around them. Scientific importance, before the advent of photography, scientists relied on illustrations to document new species. These vintage depictions provide a rich history of scientific discovery and exploration. Artistic value. Each vintage animal illustration is a unique piece of art. The style, technique, and creativity of these works continue to inspire artists today. Educational tool. Vintage animal illustrations serve as great educational tools. They spark curiosity and foster a love for nature and art in young minds. So, the next time you come across a vintage animal illustration, remember, it's not just a drawing. It's a piece of history, a scientific record, an artistic marvel, and an educational resource all rolled into one. Now, isn't that something? Secrets behind famous vintage animal illustrations Have you ever wondered what stories lie behind the creation of famous vintage animal illustrations? Let's take a sneak peek into some well-kept secrets of this fascinating art form. John James Audubon's Birds of America This monumental series of bird illustrations was created by Audubon while he literally lived in the wild. What's surprising is that Audubon didn't just draw from observation. He actually hunted these birds and arranged their bodies in lifelike poses. Ernest Thompson Seton's Wild Animals Seton was known for his realistic illustrations of wild animals. However, did you know he often used taxidermied animals as models for his work? This allowed him to capture the intricate details that make his illustrations stand out. Charles Darwin's The Descent of Man This controversial work is famous for its theories on evolution. But did you know that the illustrations of apes and humans in the book were drawn by Darwin's son, George Darwin? who was just 17 at the time. Beatrix Potter's Peter Rabbit The charming illustrations in this beloved children's book were inspired by Potter's own pets and the nature she observed around her home. What's lesser known is that Potter was a dedicated naturalist and her detailed illustrations of fungi contributed significantly to botany. So, next time you admire a vintage animal illustration, remember, there's often more than meets the eye. These illustrations are not just artistic masterpieces, they're also records of the artist's interactions with the natural world their dedication to their craft, and their unique ways of seeing and depicting animals. Well viewers, that's all we have for today. Which ones did you like? Share us your thoughts in the comment section. We hope you've enjoyed our today's content. If you do, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already and also smash that notification bell so that you will be the first one to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for watching until the end. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Until then, stay safe and stay blessed.